Hi, welcome to Equator. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do the base calculation using the Sharp calculator ELW506, ELW516, and EL550X. So this is a calculator. Let's start with base calculation. Let's say you want to convert 10110, which is binary, to hexadecimal. So let me turn on the calculator. To enter the value in binary, you must be in binary mode. So press second function and this button with BIN here. So now we are in binary. Remember when you are in binary, this 5, 8, all the numbers that are not binary except 0 and 1 will be disabled. So 1, 0, 1, 1, 0. Now press second function and then this decimal. So that is 22. Let's convert 231 decimal to binary. Now we are in decimal, 2, 3, 1, and then press second function binary. So that is a value of 231. Let's say you want to convert A0B1 hex to decimal. To do this, uh, we have to be in hex, second function and hex. Now, when you are in hex, this A, B, C, D, E, F which are part of hexadecimal, A is 10, B is 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, F is 15, which is the last maximum value. And uh, hex, we don't need to press any button, just directly press it, so A, 0, B, 1, and then press second function and decimal. So that's 41,137. Let's convert 10, 110 to hex. So press second function and then binary one uh, sorry backspace zero one one zero one now press second function and then hex that is D. Let's convert two hundred seventy two octal to decimal. So B in octal second function sorry second function oct now 272. Remember, octal is base 8. 9 will be disabled, so you can enter up to 8. So, second function and decimal. So, that's 186. So, now, quinary or base 5. So, if you want to do uh, by base 5, so, second function, PN, now, 131. So, now you are converted to decimal, so it will be 41. The reason this one is 41 is that uh, this goes up to 5, and after that we add one more. This goes up to 5, add more. So this is. So now let's do some OR calculation. To calculate OR, or if, if I put it as a gate for you here, you will see that this OR calculation is done bit by bit. So the first, uh, this is the significant most significant bit of this and um, b let's call this a and this is b so a and b so a is one b is zero or mean one of them a should be one or b should be one in order to get y equal one so this sh this the answer is one and then zero and one because we have another one here is one because two of them are zero this is zero both of them are one it's one so we can do that Second function binary must be in binary. Now let's enter the top row 1011, 1001, sorry. And then OR, we press this OR button. These NOT, AND, OR, XOR, all of these will be activated automatically when you're in binary or hex or octal mode. So I'm pressing OR and then 0, the, la the, the second row, 0, 1, 0, 1. So that's the answer, as you can see on the screen, 1101. Now let's do the, in hex mode, do OR calculation. So second function and hex. And now B3A, press B, and then 3, and then A, and then OR. Uh, here now we have D5C, D5C, and the answer is F7E. Now let's do an AND calculation. AND means A and B. 
to be 1 in order to get the output as 1 meaning this bit and this bit should be 1 so this both of them are not 1 so the answer is 0 this is also 0 this is 0 only this one is 1 so let's do it uh, second function binary b and binary so I'm entering the first row 0 1 0 1 and 1 0 0 1 so the answer is 1 all the other zeros will be discarded because the zeros on the left and doesn't have any meaning so that's why it's being discarded now we can do the same thing with hex second function on hex and then 3da 3da and e0f so e0f the answer is 20a so exclusive or is exclusively a should be 1 or exclusively b should be 1 in order to get 1. If both of these are 1, you will not get 1, the output, or both of them are 0, you will not get 1. So only when it's exclusively one of them is 1, you will get 1. In this case, this will be 1, and then this will be 1, and these two are 1, you will get 0, and then 1 is 1, so the answer will be. So again, let's do it with binary. When you see that error in binary and hex, because the value is too big, for example in hex if I have this one and you want to convert it to binary, second function binary, you get error. The reason for that is it's uh, overflowing, so it cannot do that. So go to binary and then enter the first row, 0, 1, 1, 0, and then we are doing XOR, and then one zero one one so here is the answer now we have another value which is x nor so x nor does the opposite of this so all these values will be reversed so one is zero zero will be one which i'm not going to do it if you want to do it you can come here and then say x nor so let me here backspace xnor so now the value will be in reverse and all the zero will be treated as one sometimes you need not so in binary let's say the not of this one will be the reverse of this so one one zero one and then not sorry you have to put not one one zero one so that's so zero one is zero and zero is one and then two one is zero and all zero will be treated as one that's it uh, thank you for watching please thumb up the video and also subscribe i will have more videos coming about this